Hello, this is Migo. This is not my real voice, just artificial intelligence, let alone that. Today I will show you how I made this 3D model. It is completely suitable for games and we will test it in the Unreal Engine. As you can see, the model runs without problems on the Unreal Engine. Well, let's start. Firstly, we do the modeling. Note, this design is completely from my imagination. So I did not use any reference pictures, as you see. I just add details to give the model the look of an advanced industrial electric generator. And I use the hard ops and box cutter add-on to speed up the task. I add some pipes and some random cutouts to add more details. I'm just adding some random details. After completing the modeling, we begin the process of cleaning the mesh. We remove some extra verts and clean what can be cleaned. This process is tedious, so I will use Quad Remesher to speed up the process. Quad Remesher sometimes works good sometimes, no. So you need to do better job at cleaning your mesh before using it. And here I use the very wonderful add-on, Quad Remesher. We prepare the mesh for the Sub-D process until we obtain the high poly mesh. I repeat the same steps for all our pieces, until we get a pure high poly model. Because this is a high poly model, we are adding some details to it so that we can bake it later in to the low poly model. After that, we do the UV unwrap process to each piece of the model. The method I used is a fast and effective method, but it is not the best. I prefer to use this method because it is fast and because it reduces time, but it has some drawbacks. Make sure that large pieces get plenty of space, so we don't end up with poor quality textures. Note, we are unwrapping the low poly model, not the high poly. After that, we combine all the pieces, and we export them as FBX file to Substance Painter. And try to bake the high poly into the low poly model and see if there is any problems. Well, we have some unexpected problems. Okay, we will fix them immediately. The important thing is that our model be clean of defects. Make sure to always check if there is anything hiding under the mesh.
Well, things are looking good so far. Let's put a material and see what happens. Hmm. Well, I have some problems with UVs. Well, these are some of the disadvantages that you will inevitably face if you use the method that I used. But it's not that important. We will fix it in a short time. Now I will start making textures. In my vision, I will be making a model of a dirty electric generator. So we will choose some smart materials and combine them as you can see. I will also add some details and text with alpha and stencils using the height channel. This is really not a tutorial video about Substance Painter, so I will let you watch the process. So that you don't get bored, I'll tell you something good. You can download the model and use it for free from the link below the video. You can use the model for any purpose you want, whether in your game or in your own project. If you want to support me, just share the video. Working on Substance Painter is very, very fun. Sometimes I find myself spending a ton of hours working without noticing the passive time. You may encounter some problems during the process of making the model. Do not complain and fix those problems. This will enable you to have experience over time. I add random details until I satisfy myself. Experimenting with different materials is a good thing. Sometimes it gives you several good options. One of the most important things that makes the model look good is dust or dirt, so I will put a lot of it. This model is not realistic, so I will take my time adding a lot of effects. I will add some leaked oil, so it looks like this generator has been running for a long time. This is not the best way to make models for games, but it is a quick method if you want to use it for your own projects. Don't expect Ubisoft to sign an employment contract with you. Ha ha ha. Just kidding.
After that, we will export the Model A's GLB file, because it's fast, then return it to Blender and fix the size. After that, we will extract it again as GLB file and try it in the Unreal Engine 5. Well, as you can see, we have tested the model in Unreal Engine and it works well. If you have reached this stage, thank you for watching. And do not forget to like the video and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. My regards.